another panel of this strange technology. What's it for? Something related to the currents? Mm hmm. Yeah, well, let's check. The journal. Okay. Cool. Just was about to check the journal underwater, but I can't. So that's good. That's realistic. Um. Yeah, sure. Mm hmm. This again somehow makes music. Okay, I can only flip you uh, up and down. Imagine this is not going anywhere for me. Can, except, can I? Ah, mm, ah, mm, mm. Probably need to time you correctly. You need a little more time, just now. Okay. Not quick enough. Let's take it from here. Uh. <laughs> this is going real fast after a while, here. Yeah. Okay, I have filled something and reversed the current. Cool. Whoop. Yeah. Well, this reminds me of Absu. If you've played that, beautiful underwater game, if you enjoy something like that. Very colorful, very neat, very interesting. Pierced by underground currents. Mm, yes. Really enjoying this new take on uh, cosmic horror, Lovecraftian horror, sea monster horror. The Innsmouth topic. Like it feels natural to her. That architecture again. Where is this gate going to lead me now? And there's a... Well, you know... The way that she looks at all of this and oh, symbolism she's... Um, uh, the symbolism of the game is still uh, going in uh, like a very chipper mood. A very good mood. Everything is colorful. Everything is very light, even if we had the mystery uh, moments. Some sort of handmade tribal painting. Looks really primitive. But this I is the sunniest Lovecraft game that I've ever played. I, I understood that. Cool. Like we're not out to, uh, seems like not out to cool houses though. Fish people houses. Who made these marks? They look quite old. Like we're not out to get mm, lost in the madness. Like the expedition of Harry and and folks did. Somehow, here, somehow we have a connection. Nora has a connection to all this elder stuff. We are, we Heaven, slaves and masters and Nicole. Wasn't Nicole in the notes? I'm sure it was. Rings a bell somewhere. The control water currents. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We had that. Let's. Ooh, uh, okay, there is some new stuff. I'm gonna read that. Let me just check if we can. 
What exactly was the Nakal bit? Were those the people here on the island? Possibly. Let's trust that light will be shown on that in the future again, in case we missed something. Uh, this one, okay, this one appeared. In any case, there's no turning back now. I have to go ahead and find him. And find the answers to the questions I still have. I know I should be scared about what's happening to me. But I'm not. Truth is, it's been a long time since I felt so alive. Yeah, there it is. It feels like freedom in comparison to what she had to endure with her sickness. In the water I could see my hands. They had turned into bizarre amphibian hands. Although I recognized them as my own. It's hard to put it down to words. But it was as if I were another version of myself. I've lost track of time in this place. I feel like I could stay here forever. As strange as it might seem, I feel a strange harmony with these surroundings. Everything reacts when I'm close. As if every living entity here in this lagoon welcomed me. I activated some more of those gates. Like the one in the mountaintop temple and, well, I don't know how to put it in words, but I can breathe and move freely underwater. The currents took me to what looks like a town, a sort of cylindrical pit with houses all around the walls. It's much more modest than the ruins I saw earlier. There was a small sink filled with black ooze. I heard some voices calling me, and they sound similar to the ones in my dream. But this time I understood what they were saying. Hmm. There's a button. I press... Uh, okay. Just uh, gonna put that to the notes. I press the button. Let's see if we can find more buttons. Although they are the same style, these huts are much simpler than the magnificent architecture I've seen up to now. Yeah, well. It's good enough for fish people, isn't it? Looky Whoever here. Whoever the inhabitants were, they were living here against their will. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe, oh. Because it's smeared all over. Uh, the wall paintings. This mural. Some hands look human, Murals. but others are amphibian hands. Mm -hmm. So those probably were those poor bastards whose role it was to somehow be sacrificed. Mm hmm. Hmm. Those, apparently, understandably, were not quite fond of being sacrificed. Yeah. Can totally relate. It's mm -hmm. quite disturbing to see someone's hand paintings from thousands of years ago. I feel connected to them, somehow. Fire falls from the sky. Awakens God. Black blood. Uh. Well, is that black blood the same thing as the black ooze? Possibly. So, fire falling from the sky. We might have a How hint can I of. Explain what's happening to me. What is the meaning of all this? God's sure. blood, transformation, eternal life. I feel like I'm going through what was written in that inscription. Yeah. Definitely are. Let's have a look over there first. Um, yeah. Fire falling from the sky. Possibly a meteor theme and also a very uh, ah, common theme 
uh, if you're trying to explain how gods or how some entities or how monsters or how whatever reached Earth from outer space. So the gods possibly have come to Earth and changed the life of the people who were living here. And some people, of course, had to suffer. Some maybe flourished. But usually the gods or things who are then honored as gods don't always bring just good things. but potentially whatever that is it seems to be locked no movement okay remembering that oh another button how could I have missed that one Maybe those buttons are all I need to... Oh, uh, how? Yeah, would have been too easy, wouldn't it? Okay. Maybe this is uh, the right order thing again. Does the number of handprints, or maybe... Phew. Maybe not the number? But the step of transformation give a hint to the order I have to press the buttons in. Okay, let's have a walk down here. Any buttons for me? Any houses? Mm hmm. Handprint. There are some hand marks made with pigments. I wonder if they mean something. I better draw them just in case. And some more. And some more. Mm, not entering the water in the current state. Okay, uh. Uh huh. Yeah. Another one. Ah, okay, no. Those are connected with lines. Mm -hmm. So I possibly need to follow... It is transformation, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. And can't really see what is drawn here. Ah, yeah. Kind of can, but it's the same as over there. So we go human hands, yellow-ish, bigger human hands than those uh, Star Trek hands, uh, two stripes, to the curlies, right? Okay, that's the order of buttons. So are we on the right track? I think we might be. Symbols. I like Nora. She is keeping her head in the game always, <laughs> noting everything down. Perfect. Ta okay, human hands. But the. But the. the uh, okay. This is not the next step, though. That's this step. So, is that correct now? What's the order that I'm supposed to do? 
Was there a button over there? I don't remember. I don't think so, but here is one. Didn't do any good. Me pressing it last time did it. It's quite disturbing to see someone's hand paintings from thousands of years ago. I feel connected to them somehow. Let's check upstairs first. Another button and no symbols on the walls. No, ah, but inside. Okay. The crazy yellow hands. Why do you have four stripes here? Are you number four? Black blood in eyes, like in the well. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see, do you have a number of stripes on your side too? Also four. Hmm. Well, let's... Oh, did, I, I, did I press that button down there? I think so. And that wasn't right. That was not the right combination, was it? So I'm gonna press this one. Now. Button down there stayed in place. Or did it? I'm quite sure. Does this mean you're locked in play? Very mysterious. No one here. You, but you stayed in place. And you stayed in place. I can do anything here. So that's looking good, right? So maybe that button does work now. We didn't have any in here. Or maybe this button was what reset. Oh. Maybe this button what was what reset all the other ones. Oh. Ah. It definitely went further down. Okay. And that reset the stuff. Okay. So. Mm. So. As those symbols are the lowest just trying to get the logic here as those are the lowest we need to unlock them first right okay now next we need the yellow hands which are at the very top so we're gonna go for a jog to the very top But I'm really impressed on this new take of very obviously though of crafty and horror stuff. Oopa. Which I don't want to say makes you understand all this otherworldly stuff more. There's still a lot of mystery going on. But still puts you in the shoes of someone who is not completely lost or completely losing it and completely drowning in fear and despair and all that. I like the light-hearted tone and really cool blend in with those... Oh, okay. 
those horror themes. Very well done. Big fan of that. Okay. Uh, so the, there was not a button in those huts. This one's the next. In those huts with the curly symbol. But the curly button will be the big one, I imagine. Just making sure, once again, there's nothing, absolutely nothing of that sort in there. Nope. Though that is the button. Okay, now, take it away. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Mm Let's see what that did. One more button at least is in my range now. Let's just repress it. What a lovely setting for this kind of game. I absolutely appreciate every game that takes a swing at this cosmic horror theme. And it's cool to see that this one is doing a little differently this civilization than most uses others. These devices to raise and lower the water level. It's impressive. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Can't reach that, but can reach that, and I imagine we can just swim and reach that afterwards. Transform. Okay. Well, we have the oh, hmm, hmm, another current device, which prevent, which really does not prevent us from. Anything, does it now? Uh, can consult my journal from here? What do we have here? Can I just go and land in that form? I can hover here in the water, but that's it, okay. Go! Got that sorted out. The current now. We can flip that again with this mechanism. I wonder if we should, just because it is there. This, I imagine this points toward us if it is down and forward if it is. The other way. First try. And it changed, okay. Let's just take a swim. Oh boy. Blech. But you're not correct. Okay. Let's look around first, types though. Of creatures of the same species lived here, but they weren't free. They were not free. Yeah, well, there are always these overseers or priests, and always this. I imagine that's the god who kept their slaves. For very unchristian purposes, I imagine. Uh, yeah. 
Am I gonna smack through that wall? <laughs> Very much looks like it. I imagine this is not enough speed. But how about we just gain some speed? Okay, so uh, ba -ba -ba. I went through that one. Went through that one. I uh, need to flip you around. To get even more speed. Right. At least those stay fairly the same. Flip it. Good. Are there any more here? Anything else that I missed? Hmm. How about in here? We are praise God. God punish. The sunken continent. Was that their punishment? Ah, yes, sure. Nakal, the sunken continent. So basically the people who lived here. These creatures are immortal? If so, where are they? Hmm. But yeah, that's my kind of story. God falls down to the earth, from, from space, brings, oh, okay, there's another one. come from there. Uh, destroys life as it is there. Makes this Nikal Empire sink. Oh, it's, ah, okay, I need to speed rush this. Uh, makes the Empire sink. Oh, I made it. Gives them uh, kind of somehow a gift though the power of immortality but there is a price they have to pay that price is for most of the people to live in slavery to My their gods even to the priests me from though being happy what i feel now is the complete opposite of being sick i feel full of life and energy even better than before my illness. There it is. But I wonder now, with all we know now about mm, the whole god business and slave business, if this happiness will prevail for you. And we're on the other side. Alright. Side with the other button. Press it. It's going down even more. And there's another portal now that the water we level is really low, so I can access that tunnel. Uh exactly. Accessing the tunnel by foot, I imagine through here. That's the only way I can really go on foot now. Maybe I should swim back, but 